dangers of antibiotics. Hi, I'm Felicity. Let's have a get well, stay well moment on antibiotics. When antibiotics were first invented, we were grateful to be able to use them to heal ourselves and others quickly. They cost a lot of money, but we willingly paid up to get well quick. The National Health Service and health insurance companies complied. So the pharmaceutical companies made huge profits. Big Pharma grew into the world's second most profitable business. To begin with, antibiotics worked well. However, the word antibiotic means, of course, anti-bio, anti-life. Is that really a good thing? Antibiotics are designed to kill germs. But like chemotherapy, antibiotics also affect healthy cells. Every day, some unfortunate patients die from being given a correct dose of a correct antibiotic. American Dr. Lorraine Day was one of the first to warn us that antibiotics were killing patients many years ago. Antibiotics kill because they are anti-life. Secondly, they kill because they are now often given in combination with other antibiotics and drugs. So it can be the accumulative effect of several chemical drugs that does the irreparable damage to the liver and other organs. A third problem is that in the West, we have been eating a great deal of animal protein. The animals have themselves been treated with antibiotics in their lifetime. So every time as we eat meat, poultry, fish, milk, or any other animal protein, we're getting more and more of these antibiotics secondhand. Therefore, babies and some people who may be never taken antibiotics themselves have become immune or allergic to them. So how are we to get well and stay well? How about restoring our God-given immune system? Remember in Revelation 18.23, we are warned against pharmakia, which is the Greek word for sorcery. That is where the word pharmaceutical comes from. Have we been deceived yet again and made the white-coated doctors into gods and idols? Our medical system is now controlled by Big Pharma. They're there to make money, not health. The Bible tells us the Lord is our healer. We should trust in him and follow his creation diet in Genesis 1, and 30. Herbs, fruit, seeds, nuts, and green plant. This was the original medicine until it was hijacked by Big Pharma. God has actually given nature her own antibiotic called silver. It can be taken in colloidal form. Life has taught me that God always has the best, very best solution to get well and stay well.